Hey guys, this is Jesser. How is everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, four one four six nine. Find the all all the lonely node. Lonely node. Uh, it's marked as easy. In a binary tree, a lonely node is a node that is only the child of its parent node. So only single uh, only single child. The root of node a uh, root of the tree is not lonely because it does not have a parent node. Mm -hmm. Given the root of binary tree, return an array containing the values of all lonely nodes in the tree. Right, so actually, this is pretty simple, I think. We just do real recursion, right? We walk through the, the tree. and uh, But these are tricky part. Is that tricky? Uh, not, not that tricky. Uh, the, the determination, how we can determine that a node is, uh, is, uh, is a lonely node is that it is only a uh, lonely node if it is only only child of its parent node, but for binary tree, uh, a node doesn't have the doesn't have the information of its parent node, so this determination must be done in the parent level, right? Which means when we're at the node of one, we determine if two or three is a lonely node. When we're at two, we determine if four is a lonely node, right? So cool. So Remember this, we can just create a walk method, a recursion method. We get a node in, and uh, this walk will walk on each node and collect the lonely ch children. Right? We create a result. It's, okay, I'll say lonely nodes. Okay. As we said before, if we use, do something like this, the, as the as the uh, recursion goes deep, deeper and deeper uh, for for a closure. It will access. It will try to access the lonely node through its lexical scope chain, right? So you actually, it's a slightly uh, slower. So we better just to pass down the reference as we as we go go as we go deeper. So I'll say we I will do like this. Pa pass it down. Mm hmm. Cool, and then we walk root lonely node, and then we return it. Hmm. Cool. So here, um, what we gonna do? So we check if he has only one child. If he has only one child, then the child must be lonely node, right? So if node left is not null and node right. Root might be null, and root might be null. Okay, so uh, yeah. If root is null, we just return the lonely node. If left is null, not null, and right is null, then we push the lonely nodes in, right? Push node left. So the opposite, if node right is not null and node left is null, then lonely nodes will push node right, right? Well, the now, now we are after we collecting, we collect the uh, lonely nodes. We will step on the child nodes and do do, and uh, do the recursion, right? So if node is left is not null, we walk node left with the lonely nodes, right? Ah, uh, actually. Actually, we can merge these ifs together. If left is not null, and uh, if node right is null, we push it in, and this is the same. If node left is null, okay. Yeah, this is right. We uh, if if it's null, we push the right, right, and then we walk on the right. Node right. Uh huh. 
this is not tail recursion because it's not at the end of the process and then we walk until uh, the new is met and the walk yeah I think this should work but before we uh okay I'll put the only notes here it will be returned empty and uh, actually we could uh, make it concisor we we'll just say if it is null we do nothing right if null node is null we just return and for that case uh, actually we don't need this check mm, yeah it's, it, mm, I think it better be this way this way mm, no 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 I'll just keep it out because I want this node to be not null mean the walk method okay to make things uh to make things predictable if notice null we return empty hmm this is clear cool just to run the code uh okay before i run i would like to review it once one more time we first we step on one yeah because left is not null right is not null we walk on left two then left is null, um, it's here, right is not null, so it's 4, left is null, we push right, and the array has 4, right, and then we walk on 4, for 4, there's no left, no right, and uh, yeah, there's nothing, nothing there, and then we go to uh three right for three um nothing left nothing right so yeah i think it should work mm -hmm. what why ah mm -hmm. we need to return what return the node right right is not more Left is not normal, we push left. Return it. Mm -hmm. Why is not a number? What we're we gonna return? It's return the value? We need to return the value? Ah, shit, I'm sorry. I'm asked to return an array containing the values. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'll push the node to val. Right val. Cool. I think it should be accepted. Yeah, we are accepted. The time for this one. For all the nodes. Yeah. Any time space. The result doesn't count, so it's constant. So is there a better way to rewrite this? Um, you see, for node, whether this node node is totally determined determined by its parent. So actually, we could do it in any any fashion of uh, a traversal, right? This recursion is DFS. We can also rewrite it into uh, uh, iteration or BFS. It's it's just a okay. Either way is okay. So let's just uh, mm, shall we spend some time? I'm recording this video for eight minutes. Mm, let's just a quick write a quick one of BFS, okay? To practice, to do just practice about the practice. Okay, so we are getting. Uh, uh, first, I will filter out the uh, irregular case if it's null. Okay, now we create a queue. We put root in while queue is it's not empty. We get the head. Now we will determine if the uh, um, determine this. Actually, if head left is not null and head right is null, we will okay. Const node equals empty. We push the node 
ahead, left valve, okay? And then we will push the node head left into the queue. And we will do the same to the right. Head left, okay, okay, and uh, here should be Q push head right. Push. And then when it is all over, we can return the uh, money node. This allow me to review one more time before I submit. We get on it nodes, we get put it in the queue. We, every time we get the head out, and then check if it is a uh, left is null or right is not uh, left is not null right is null then we put left node this valve into the result and push left in right in I think it should work yeah it uh, it's the same actually it's uh, just uh, the same so the time the linear time yeah it's uh, it's this ah for space I made a mistake there's a call stack so it's actually oh the height. Okay, I'm sorry. For the queue, this is layer by layer, so it's maximum of the maximum of the the nodes, right? So for binary tree, the maximum should be half of it. So it's still linear space. Yeah. So that's it. That's all for this one. Hope it helps. Of course, we could rewrite it into a stack fashion, but I'll, I'll leave it to you, okay? I've done it a lot. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.